Hi everyone, this is Melody. I'm going to talk about the group talk we just had tonight. It's uh, 14th of April 2011. Okay, the topic of the session was the jobs I have had in my life. We talked a lot about jobs we had when we were in high school or university. And uh, a lot of us had jobs that involved customer service and um, we had some very funny stories. Uh, other jobs, apart from um, jobs including customer service, um, include assistant director or producer for a TV company, home tutoring and working in a hotel. Okay, we had some new vocabulary and example sentences. Number one is put on the spot. Uh, the customer knew we couldn't prove her wrong, so we had to refund her. She really put me on the spot. And uh, cheeky and naughty, uh, they mean like kind of mischievous, um, not doing what you're told, that kind of thing. For example, this lady brought back a blouse which had so obviously been washed many times, um, but she wanted refund for it. She's such a cheeky customer. And co confiscated. Um, he tried to sneak some sweets into school and got them confiscated. And goody two shoes, which is an expression. Um, quite a casual expression, I guess. Uh, for example, I told my friends that I've never shoplifted and I was called a goody two shoes. And uh, frowned upon, for example, in England it is less frowned upon than in Japan to change jobs often or take adult education. Okay, people had difficulty with things like uh, apparently and obviously. They said he was apparently strange in his appearance, but I think it's better if you say he was obviously strange in his appearance. It means they're clearly um, strange. So in this case, I think you should use obviously instead of apparently. And number two is jewels and jewellery. Um, I think they meant accessories, like this, like earrings. Um, jewels are like stones, um, like ruby, diamonds. So they said, I like big jewels, but I think she meant accessories, so in this case, I think uh, you should say, I like big jewellery. Okay, and the last one is um, the difference between head and forehead. This is head, this is forehead. Okay, so for example, they said, the teacher drew on my forehead. Oh no, the teacher drew on my head as a punishment. And uh, what they should have said is the teacher drew on my forehead as a punishment. Forehead. Head. Okay? So if you can be careful of that, that the next time, it would be great. But apart from that, we had a really fun group talk and uh, everyone was really chatty. So well done and see you next time. Bye.